away sin. The only thing that can wash away your lies is the blood of Christ. And that's why it's so important that you remember that you've got to put your trust in Him, not your change of heart or turning over a new leaf. The only thing that will suffice is okay. Jesus Christ, the blood of Christ. So you got to put all your faith in the test, and because I like you and because you're honest about it, I'm going to give you $5. This is five dollars or something. There's one right over there. You can get anything on the menu. Daryl, I got one last thing for you. Okay, Lord. Here we are at Huntington Beach, California. This is Ray Comfort and his people. They come down here every Saturday, do the good tests and whatever else they do. So I thought I'd get y'all a nice video of it. Maybe y'all can try it. Tweak it to your personality. You don't want to call Parrot what he does. Just be yourself and do it the way the Lord leads you. In Jesus' name, amen. And a gift card. You got to come and get it. I'm giving away money. He doesn't want the money. Would you like to take it from here? It's free. Okay. Guys, I got some more money to give away, so are you ready? What's the name of the President of the United States? You know the name of the President? What? Here you are. You got it. Okay, we'll take a little break. Here's his test your IQ. I don't know if y'all can read it. How you Here doing? it is. Okay. Someone tell me. Right. The capital of France starts with P, rhymes with Paris. Capital of France. You got it. Here's your money. Get her ahead. What is the capital? Okay, we are at Huntington hey. Beach, California. Hey, here's your money. Hey. Good day, comfort. Hey. Jesus Christ, I'm about to get to heaven. So he's getting a little bit of a crowd here. Anybody tell me the capital of Australia? Sydney. Who said Sydney? Canberra. That's right, Canberra. There you are, give him a hand. Do you know the capital of New Zealand? Auckland. Who said Auckland? Give him a hand, he's wrong. Wellington. That's Wellington, there you are. Give him a hand. What's wrong with you people? They need some. There you are. Good job. Okay. Can anybody tell me what accent this is? This is not a California accent. I've been here for 28 years. But can anyone tell me what is this accent? Pretty good. You're only 12,000 miles out. Why doesn't someone say Australia? Australia. No, it's not Australia. New Zealand. There you are. Good job. Give him a hand. Okay, how tall is this little body? Take a five step. Four. A little more than five that. Five, five, hey, yeah, there you are. Five, five. Okay, how can a man go eight, go eight, eight days without sleep? How can a man go eight days without sleep? You tell me, I'll give you the money. What's that? No, how can he go eight days without sleep? Stay awake. Well, that's pretty good. Hey, I'll give you money for that. He stays awake. That's good one. Okay. Now, but there is an answer. How can a man go eight days without sleep? Coffee. Coffee? Yeah, that's wrong, but I like giving away money. Then give him a hand. Come on. You're over the line. Okay. How can a man go eight days without sleep? No, he sleeps at night. Okay. Here's another one. Where was the Declaration of Independence signed? That's uh, Philadelphia. Where was the sign? Pennsylvania. Oh, Pennsylvania. What's that? On the paper. It was signed on the bottom. That'll be close enough. Here's your better. Good job. Good job. What is the world's most popular dog? A yellow lamb. Yay! Yeah. Yeah. Oh, good job. <laughs> What's the name? 
name of the President of the United States. Okay, there's yes, yes. What's the name of the Vice President? Pence, you got it. Now, does anyone here want to go 20 bucks? I need a loud mouth. 20 bucks. 20 bucks. Somebody thinks they're a good person. Okay, 20 bucks. Anyone want to go for that? She does. You do? And I don't want a Christian. You're not a Christian, are you? No. Okay, I want someone who's a good person. You think you're a good person? Yes. Let's just go for 20 bucks. Jump up on there. What's your name? Jesse. Good job. Come and get your name. Jesse, you got it right, so you get a dollar. Yay. Yeah, can we get it? I'm not kidding. I'm giving away money. I want to give away this money. Okay, jump up there, Jesse. How old are you, Jesse? How old are you? 20. What do you do for a job? I'm just going for it. Oh, good job. Thank you. Marine Corps. Give him a hand. Come on. Oh, yeah. Now, Jesse, you think you're a good person? How many lies have you told in your whole life? 20 lies? What do you call somebody who's told 20 lies? So what are you? Now do you still think you're a good person? Have you ever stolen something from this morning in your home? What do you call somebody who steals things? No, oh, they're from Pittsburgh. Thief. Thief, thank you for helping them out. So what are you? No, you're not. You're a lying thief. So Jesse, do you still think you're a good person? Yes. So you think a lying thief is a good person? Okay, now, have you ever used God's name in vain? No. OMG? Yes. Okay, so you were lying to me again. Uh. That's called blasphemy, Jesse. Very serious to use God's name as a cuss word. One to go, and I appreciate your honesty. Jesus said if you look at a woman and lust for her, you know what that means? I love her. No, you just love to get a bed with her. That's what lust is, okay? Have you ever looked at a woman with lust? Because you commit adultery in your heart. According to God. Yes. You that? <laughs> yes. Okay. Now do you still think you're a good person? You're a self-admitted lying, thieving, blasphemous, adulterer. Ah. Yes. You still think you're a good person? Now you know what the problem is, Jesse? What's that? Your standard of goodness is very low. God's is very high. You think a lying thief is a good person. When God says good, he means moral perfection in thought, word, and deed. Now you're not morally perfect, are you? No. So you're not good, you're just like the rest of us, okay? So here's the big question, Jesse. If God judges you by the Ten Commandments, we're looking for them. On the day of judgment, will you be innocent or guilty? Why? Oh, I didn't ask that question. And I was like, innocent or guilty if he judges you by the Ten Commandments? What you going to have for hell? Now you say you can forgive your sins. How would you be forgiven? Saved, you've got to repent and trust in Jesus. When are you going to do that? When? Tomorrow. Why do you think you're going to be here tomorrow? You know how many people die every day? 150,000. The Bible says don't boast of tomorrow because you don't know what it will bring. You need to get right with God today. 
okay? The only thing you can get right now, yeah. The only the only thing you can guarantee is the ear going into your bones. Right in the Who's now down? Quick, come out. Does this make sense? Yes. I don't know if you can take the time to be nervous, but I'm just here. And it's because I hear a guy. I don't want your money. I'm not saying join the church. I'm saying Jesse. Think about it. This is where you're going to spend eternity. Do you have a Bible at home? Now, Jesse, you didn't earn the 20 bucks, but I'm going to give you five. Jesse, I have a quick illustration for you. You got a bottle of water in your hand. If I offered you a million dollars or another bottle of water, which would you take? The million dollars or the bottle of water? Of course. So you're not a fool. You're not silly. Because I get a lot of people that are insincere and they go, oh, I take the water. But you already got But if you were crawling through a desert dying of thirst and I offered you money or a bottle of water that would save your life, suddenly the water would be more valuable than all the money in the world. And uh, that's what's going on here. It's called circumstantial priorities. Today you're out to have a good time. The sun is shining. You're not in danger. You're not in a uh, hospital bed. Uh, you haven't been in an accident or burned. Or, uh, your life is, isn't in danger. But on the day of your death, your circumstances will radically change. What's going to be important to you is life. And what's offered to you is the water of life. The Bible says, whosoever will, let him drink of the water of life freely. Day in and day out, we're talking to people, you're hearing uh, different things about God in the Bible in, in different ways from different people. It keeps popping up, and God is reaching out to you and I and to everybody that the offer is free. You can drink to your abundance. You can have righteousness, right standing with God. Because when you die, you're going to face God in judgment. You've lied, you've stolen, you've had lustful thoughts, you're, uh, you're at odds with God. die too, right? And you know if you end up, if you die in your sins, you'll end up in hell. Because God is just. And he's going to make sure that the guilty are punished. But Jesus Christ satisfied the justice of God by dying on the cross. He rose from the dead. And he's got that life for you. And he wants to give you all that he has. All of his inheritance, all of his righteousness, and everything that you need to go to be in heaven. Prepared be with God forever. So those things are pretty important, right? So what are you going to take, the water or the money? Yeah. In that case, you're going to take the water. The water of righteousness. All right. You got any questions? Are you going to pay attention to these things? All right. Read your Bible. Obey what it says. God will never let you down. That little thing. Can you speak with a loud voice? 
Yes. How many of each animal did Moses take into the ark? Two. What is the name of the raised print that Deborah gave you? Yes. That's right. Spell the word shock out loud. What do you do when you come to a green light? Is it possible to end a sentence with the word the? Yes, it is. That's right. The sentence right here ends with the word the. Imagine you're driving a Mercedes at 100 miles an hour when suddenly the steering locks, the doors lock, the brakes fail, and you're headed for a thousand foot cliff. What do you do to save yourself? Come on, you're going 100 miles an hour. You only got a couple of seconds. Okay. Yeah. At 100 miles an hour, you think you just go right on over the cliff? You're not going to make it that way. Uh, Last one, spell the word silk. What do cows do? I don't know. All right. All right. Let's see how you did. What's your name? Caleb? My name's Scotty, Caleb. How many of each animal did Moses take into the ark? You said two. Who built the ark? So how many did Moses take? Zero. It was Noah's ark. What is the name of the race with deaf people? All right. It's my people. It's my people. Spell the word shop, S-H-O-P. What do you do when you come to a green light? You go. That isn't what you said before. You go. But you go at a green light. Is it possible? End the sentence with the word. Go. Like this sentence right here. That's it. Is. Imagine you're driving. Stop imagining. You're not in a car. You're not going to go over a cliff. It's all in your mind. Spell the word silk. Yes, I okay. When a cows drink, they drink water. That's right. All right, Caleb, come over here so you can see this. I'm going to give you another test here. But I want you to have a... A, a good position to see it. I want you to read each of the three triangles out loud, one at a time, as fast as you can. When I say go, are you ready? Go. Okay, Caleb, you got all three wrong. Now read each word that I point to. What is that word? What is that word? And that? And that one? Oh. <laughs> How about the next one? Bird in the, the hand. Once in a, a lifetime. Have you ever been wrong before? Yeah. So you can't trust yourself. How about you folks? You ever been wrong before? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, so you can't trust yourself. I got a big question for all y'all. Are you a good person? Caleb, are you? Yeah? How about the rest of you folks? You're all good to be absolutely all Let's the time. find out. Have you ever told a lie yes. ever in your life? Yes. Have you ever stolen anything? Yes. Even what? if it was small, value makes no difference. Yes. Yeah? How about you folks? Have you ever stolen anything? Yeah? Have you ever looked with lustful thoughts ever yes. in your life? Yeah. Everybody has. So you know what that makes you, don't you? Lying, leaving. Adulterers at heart. There's none good, not even one. But God is rich in mercy. So I want to ask you: Do you know that that's three of the Ten Commandments? You shall not lie. You shall not steal. You shall not commit adultery. How about this one? You shall not take the name of the Lord your God in vain. Anybody ever done that?
Folks, repent of your sins and put your faith in Christ today while you have a chance. Thank you for listening. Amen. Me too. All right. That was Ray Comfort at Huntington Beach. It's interesting partner. how when you bring the Ten Commandments out or you um, switch things to the spiritual. They come down here on gone. Saturdays and do this skit trying to win people to the Lord Jesus Christ. And then there's my husband over on the Thank corner you, getting ready to preach. Hey, uh, and pass out gospel tracks. There's a, there's a website. Okay. Bye for now.